imagine people who does uh, raza in uh, in ramzan time they don't eat from morning to evening and imagine some desecration happens it hurts every muslim but the problem is same thing happens in a hindu if some kind of such violation happens hindu won't get a support you tried misquoting him or twisting what he has quoted <laughs> what would you like to say it's very easy to comment on what is happening in the uh, hindu society they're scared to comment on any other than which i hate that i'm also respect other religions but here i'm questioning not muslims or christians i'm questioning the hindus who doesn't have respect for sanatan dharma you are the prime culprits hello and welcome to one india joining me right now is the deputy chief minister of the state of andhra pradesh the janasena party chief and famously known to movie fans as power star sir first question to you your journey from being power star to the deputy chief minister of the state of andhra pradesh hasn't been a smooth one you've seen your ups you've seen your downs from not from winning one seat in 2019 to having a 100% win record in 2024 if you were to describe your journey what would, how would you describe it and how has it been sir yeah well no no felt that way i never judged myself but there was i can say i get these words it's chaotic turbulent and uh, stable it was not an easy path and i never wanted to be in the films in the first place in the first place i never wanted to be in films and uh, my thought was always i don't know, maybe i was in search of something i don't know what it was uh, maybe when i was pursuing my school or maybe I did just two years of my college i had uh, quit college i was not happy the way they teach me and i was em- i don't know right from my childhood my thought man especially from 8th grade and 9th grade my thought was that education and employability were the two big things for me i said if i learn this what do i get hmm. See, as i felt my heart is something else, it was in something else so the school was not teaching that so from there the reason why i said it was a, a chaotic and turbulence in between every part of my life was very chaotic and turbulent but i was looking for some stability in that so that's why i think immediately these are the three words which followed a right from education in films i never wanted to be an actor uh, my brother was an actor my brother is an actor uh, when he want to ask me and he never asked me in the first place but a lot of people around me they used to ask uh but i was interested in many things i want to for me the simple quest is just to learn that's it, nothing else just to learn for the sake of it in that process i got exposed to many things maybe political ideology history you name it science and everything so i don't know what i would be hooked to okay do i like this do i like i don't know so mm-hmm. finally but one thing was consistent right from my childhood till today it is injustice that is that is one consistent part and i used to whatever i am today is only to answer my own queries my own confusions in that process i think uh, to get a clarity about myself i think i was doing this journey including political journey hmm. uh, so from actor i said i was clueless i was uh, in a spiritual uh, pursuit i thought uh, my why did i get into a spiritual pursuit is when you don't want to change the world when you can't change the world you are helpless and you are disillusioned the for me i found escape in uh, going to ashrams and uh, getting you know hurls get gain a lot of powers superior means, uh, what do you call it uh, uh, spiritual powers and use it for society that was the thought then i at one point of time i realized it's not leading anywhere there is even if you get get in that kind of powers uh it won't take you anywhere hmm. but the real action is to do it 
uh, in a very practical uh, uh, practical manner so finally from my spiritual uh, quest i want to make a living because by then i was 22 or 23 i said god i didn't do anything and someone offered uh, why don't you do films i don't know how to do though my brother is an actor i don't know how to perform so by lack of choice i got into acting somehow it worked but i was a, i'm a, always i'm a keen learner so i learned the film making aspect and uh, I, normally i'm a guy who gives his best for any situation which mm. comes to him so from there actor and uh, always that social injustice was always there that's one consistent aspect that made me to plunge into politics this who is would have believed that somebody who never wanted to be an actor today has has a place in the hearts <laughs> of crores of people <laughs> that's uh, a strange one huh? yes sir so coming to the issue at hand uh, a very serious one you've been at the forefront of it you've spoken extensively and you've been very vocal about the sanatan dharma and the need to form a particular board uh, the first question sir where is the issue at at this point in time in terms of action uh, what can we expect from the state government because multiple organizations have come out somebody has seeked for a court ordered probe somebody has seeked for a cbi probe there are all sorts of messaging coming out no well, why don't you see people are looking at it is a prasad issue yes. for me i'm not looking at it is an issue of prasad definitely it is an issue i think most of them i think uh, in general not not everybody i can say but uh, in general the general public i can say i don't know about the organization heads and much chiefs i'm not talking about them but let it be political parties or political commentators they are thinking laddu or prasad as just one issue i'm not they don't know the before of it and uh, post pre and post the issue is not about just prasad it is the way we run temples it is the way we jump into conclusions and the attack on sanatana dharma has been consistent all through these decades ever since i am in at least okay i can say this ever since i come out maybe a little awakening which i had around what is happening around me say at least 3 year to 4 to 4 decades right from i was uh, 14 and my bear i was always aware for me i prefer equality the issue is not about uh, uh, today okay today it is a uh, uh, prasad uh, laddu you know the desecration or whatever thing uh, sanctity of prasad okay we will find the we will find the culprits we will punish them let it be cbi or uh, anybody whichever organ uh, authority but the issue is uh, they might resolve it they will resolve it definitely the culprits will be punished punished uh, but what i'm looking at is beyond this we have to have a find a mitigation mechanism or uh, to confront such happenings occurrences in future and that is very essential for the health of our democracy the problem with is such occurrences such situation happens the problem is hinduism the attack on such a situation is not from uh, i predominantly i don't see it much from uh, muslim uh, society or the christians i mean from christians the attack is more from hindus within hindus these hindus the so called they, they say they are hindus but they don't have respect for sanatan dharma and they comment easily and they are the ones to be corrected in the first place are you hinting at a lack of unity it's not lack of unity lack of there is enough you know, unity is not the issue that is some cohesive cohesiveness is lacking see the sanatan dharma allows you to be okay you, you this is an ever evolving religion there are no fixed tenets okay this is right this is wrong this is ever evolving 
always there is a, a lot of amendments can be done. Time to time it, uh, it keeps happening. What was right for certain times, okay, we, we make corrections. There is a Sanatana, Sanatana Dharma keeps on evolving. It keeps on integrating. It, it lets you, even if you are a hardliner, if you are an atheist, you have a space. Hmm. You can express use, but what I am saying is everyone is bound to have use. I don't have any problem. Imagine people who does uh, Raza in, uh, in Ramzan time, they don't eat from morning to evening. And imagine some desecration happens. It will, it hurts every Muslim. Yes. The faith says, I don't want to, we are not supposed to, you, do, you have to do fasting from sunrise to sunset. Yes. That is, their faith said that and they are following it. So how you do this? And also, when you say, okay, when, I, when a Muslim wants to eat uh, meat, it should be halal certified, done to a halal manner. Imagine if it is not done, at least it is an issue. We cannot question, okay, why, did, why do you want to do it? It's, it's April, okay, that an average Muslim personality says, hey, that's what I believe, that's what I say, I don't want to do. But the problem is, the same thing happens in a Hindu, in the Hindu system. The question comes from, if some kind of such violation happens, a Hindu won't get a support from his own Hindus, fellow Hindus. They are so divided, disintegrated, and that's the issue. So regarding Tirupati Prasad, also the same issue. It is a set of norms are there. These norms have happened, it evolved since 700 years. And last 300 years, the concept of all the, it's, it used to call Bhumi. So it was uh, like, you know, it was not rolled into a, a rounded uh, ball, hmm. so a uh, shape. And finally, in 300 years back, they made it it's more easy to, to offer this way. And a lot of reverence and devotion goes into that quality. How do you, why do we wash feet and uh, go and sell? Why do we take shower? Because it is way of cleansing and it's a purification process. You do with the purity, prayer should be done on a, at a purity level. The, the pr prasad to be offered, it should be with a complete purity. So what are the ingredients go into it? What purified form? Okay. It doesn't allow beef fat, it doesn't allow uh, pig fat, it doesn't allow fish, fat, fish oil. Yes. There are certain norms to it. So when the norms are being violated, a lot of people who doesn't even eat garlic, who doesn't even eat onion, they are devotees of uh, Lord Balaji. And imagine for them, even garlic is a, a, a desecration for them, yes. eating garlic and eating onion. So everyone believes, okay, they come to a common minimum understanding, okay, this is what it is, like it, 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 give, it give a sanctity for that. The problem is when, we, when it is not been practiced, when something has been violated, uh, uh, the ingredients which are not supposed to go into it, when they went inside, and it is a violation of trust. 100%. And that did, that did hurt people, that enraged people. And he, imagine someone says it, who are the board members? I am not, <laughs> the concept is I am not blaming any, who am, whom I am blaming? I am blaming the regulator uh, body there, the authority which was sitting there. You are supposed to look into it. Instead of saying, okay, mistake happened, we are sorry, we will look into it. A simple apology, sorry, would have reduced it. I am not saying uh, it will, they won't be left, I mean, they won't be, uh, uh, we won't leave them, but it would have lessened the mitigation. But they didn't do it, they escalated it. And where they are drawing their strength from? They are drawing, drawing their strength from Hindus, society is divided. Fellow Hindus can be abused, fellow Hindus can be done, they can because you can't raise your voice because we are also Hindus. This is the group. How much percentage it depends. But for that group, I'm also Hindu. I am also respect other religions. But here I'm questioning not Muslims or Christians. Fellow Hindus. I'm questioning the Hindus who doesn't have respect for Sanatana Dharma. You are the prime culprits for this entire episode.
for them for to escape to to safeguard hinduism hindu society should be safeguarded from the people within hinduism who attack sanatan dharma i think that's what the whole episode turned out into Sir, it is not just about prasad prasad is one of the aspects yes, the executive officer of ttd coming out and saying that the ghee was never used that the adulterated ghee was never used uh, whereas the chief minister statements and all the other uh, statements after that confirmed that the adulterated ghee was in fact used to make laddus so if you could just give us some clarity on whether the ghee was used or no in the first place it can clear out the doubts of crores of devotees who today are in, are in a confused state because of that one news report if ghee was not used the issue would not have arisen to this point it's as simple and especially we we are very very cautious and careful to say a statement before at very when the evo says now he was not talking about them hmm. he is talking about once they have taken charge got they because uh, when when mr new evo has taken charge i, I was also asking why the, if you notice i was raising this since many days you will have uh, if you want my office we can give you that uh the visuals where i have spoken consistently about the quality of prasad during the election campaign also yeah i i also, I have also said it so it is not something new everyone said there something is not right yes so when uh, the uh, you who has taken charge and he was he means maybe he is a uh, not a, because what they the way they, because they say it in a he is a bureaucrat he doesn't exactly uh and also sometimes in english if you said it in telugu when they say it when he said it what he meant was i asked him the other day he meant me i said what he meant was no whatever in in fact he gave me prasad i said i asked me said told by no sir this is uh, uh after we blocked the company and uh, the, this ghee has been tested and with this ghee we made it hmm. that's what he meant got but the way he put it i know i hadn't seen the visual but for me there was no confusion because he said it right but people who doesn't understand the language people who want to twist uh, you know uh, have a different uh, meaning to it they can say it but actually we are on the same page all of us are on the same page so yesterday you did an entire press conference and you also responded to mr prakash raj who came out and uh, spoke something about this particular issue today he has responded to your press conference and he says you tried misquoting him or twisting what he has quoted <laughs> what would you like to say about no no uh, uh, there is no such way you know uh, i like prakash raj he is a good friend of mine and i always liked him he was um, uh, in fact we, we we share a great bonding though we differ on uh, political aspects and his opinion that's a different story but as a an actor i truly uh, respect him and i like him frankly hmm. i love to perform with him and i have a few more days work also with him <laughs> see uh, first of all when uh, uh, sir prakash rajgaru is uh, first of all there is no need for him to comment on this on my tweet hmm. it is something some adulteration happened some sanctity has been violated i said that there is no comment I, my thought was people who are involved in it should be punished there is no nothing to do with uh, religion nothing but he commented and he dragged your friends in delhi he meant the bg PJP and uh, Modi ji or uh, who are the more leadership. So I know his comments. He feels he is a great secularist. So where your thought comes from? Such idea, what you uh, say said it. It comes from your the your definition of secularism. Hmm. So it is not just Mr. Prakash Raj alone. Whoever we are commenting on me on the social media or on the political commentators. they think they are the saviors of democracy and uh, they are epitome of uh, secularism i want to tell them guys uh, i know for secularism i have a slight uh, um, my, my it's not my own opinion average uh, indian feels it so for them secularism is something you can comment on say, I, the, the moment i said i didn't misquote or something i understood his intention where you are coming from you read between the lines that's read between the lines i said my question is did you comment on bangladesh 
Hmm. And Hindus are uh, being uh, killed. Did you comment? We don't comment. If you had commented, I don't know, I'm not aware, I'm glad. See, this, not just Prakash Raj, any kind of secularist who claims to be his secularist, it's very easy to comment on what is happening in the Hindu society. They're scared to comment on any other religion, which I hate that. You say they are dual standards. Yes, sir. If you, what is secularism? All are equal. Yes. Whether I'm a person of uh, an X religion, a person of Y religion, or Z religion, that's not the issue. Whoever does the mistake, who wants to make a comment, please do it. Got it. That's what an average Indian wants. Exactly. I grew up from a very simple middle class family who doesn't come from a great political background, but I wanted my leaders to be like this. Got it. Just because I'm a leftist doesn't mean I'm not going to comment on. Uh, imagine. Uh, the sacred thread was uh, okay, will, will be adorned by Brahmins or certain uh, classes of uh, society. It was uh, pulled and uh, snapped by one guy. The one who snapped, it happened in the temple in Bhimavaram. It, it was done by another Hindu only. And no one comments about it. Of course, we, we, we raised my, raised my voice. Any kind of miss, some wrongdoing happens or it's easy, it's easy. Sanatana Dharma or Hinduism is the easiest target, punching back to be commented. Got it. For the so-called secularists. And Prakash Raj is one such secularist. That's the reason why he commented on love. Got it, sir. So, my last question on Tirupati before we get into 100 days of governance and the Guinness World Record achieved by your department. Uh, there is an allegation coming in from the opposition in the state of Andhra Pradesh. They say recently the IT minister and the son of the present chief minister went on to give a media statement saying TTD, when questioned about the delay in the timeline, he went on to give a statement saying TTD is an independent body and the chief minister can only appoint the executive officer but cannot exercise control over the board. Who so said the, that? Uh, Mr. Nagalokesh had said that to the media. So their counter question right now to the ruling government is, if today TTB, TTD is independent and that justifies the delay in making the report public despite receiving it on the 23rd of July, then how is it that the then chief minister, why is Jagan Mohan Reddy can be attacked because TTD even back then was independent is what they said. Okay, well, uh, when did we comment on Jagan? We are right. commenting on TTD board. I personally, I am saying it on record right now. I didn't comment on Mr. Jagan. Right. I am commenting on the board which was constituted under his leadership. My question is simply, as you are not aware, I, 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 I absolutely agree with this argument. It is, not, it is constituted by you, but you are not the uh, reason for it. Okay, right. This is, these are the findings. Let the investigation go on. Let them find out. Why do you get scared? Got Why do you defend those people? That's what my question is. Okay, him defending and the fear that you are citing is… Yeah, because you are defending, that means you are a part of it. If I am in Jagan Reddy's position, what I will say, okay, that's fine. I am the chief minister. Hmm. I was chief minister then. I don't know what exactly happened. I am sorry. If such uh, uh, sanctity has been violated, I am sorry. Please go through it. I am open for that. It's as simple as this. But if I say, it's not a mistake of ours, it's not, I said, who is saying it? It's your mistake. I, we understand. Every, every prasad, every ladu is there, uh, uh, you, you, won't, you won't sit and do it, you are a chief minister. We are not, I'm, I'm not, personally, I'm not blaming that. Got it. I'm very clear. Got it. But you're not letting anyone to be, come, I mean, uh, commented. You're not letting the issue to be, uh, to, to comment on this issue. You're not letting anything to go forward. You're saying it's political. Why would we do it? Right. So the reason why I said why would I would, we would never do it is Ramathirdha. Hmm. Imagine for any religion other than Hinduism, if it happens to their religion, if their idols, if their place of desecration, a place of worship has been desecrated, can you imagine that entire world would explode? Exactly. Here in Ramathirdha, this land of Sanatana Dharma prays, bows down to Lord Sri Rama. That Lord Sri Rama statue has been severed, has been cut off. Yes. 
and I am a very devotee of Lord Sri right from my childhood. And everyone knows that uh, we, uh, we worship uh, Lord Hanuman. An entire Rama Japam goes in our home. It hurts us, but, and I am in politics too, I could have taken it up as a very political issue. But we know that would rake up raw emotions, especially a person like me who is when I speak. So, I made it a point to what extent it, it has to be taken forward. I had done that much and I left it there, requ requesting them, you take action, which they didn't take. Got it. But the repeated actions, the repeated occurrences, when it becomes a practice, and I had been seeing it for decades, after being in politics, after Rama had been in severe. So when, 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 if not now, when? Sir, uh 100 days of governance, it's 100 days since the Kutumi has come to power in the state of Andhra Pradesh. How do you analyze 100 days in terms of performance? And the second part of that question would be, I mean, I couldn't avoid but notice the posters of uh, an ex-minister joining your party on the way to this particular <laughs> office. So now a lot of people are preferring to, you know, jump ship and come to the GSP. No. So how do you analyze the performance and what is the way forward for Janasena party <laughs> as a political outfit? I'm telling you, I'm the most reluctant uh, actor and a reluctant uh, political leader. Destiny made me to be here. Right. And my only quest is to speak from the bottom of your heart. That's what I trained myself all my all these years. And uh, I want to curtail criminalization of politics as much as I can within my limits. And uh, to give a dignity uh, to suppressed sections of society and to increase uh, a lot of employability, capa employment uh, capabilities in the people through skill development. And for me, this 100 days was purely focused on that. I'm a uh, very great environmentalist, I mean, uh, very committed environmentalist. Uh, and I love nature, I want to protect nature. So all these things made me to go. These were my ideals, you know, my passion for it. Hmm. Uh, but to let people, okay, I was focused only in this 100 days, what best I can do. We did uh, 13,326 panchayats, yes. which were neglected by the last government. And I started empowering them right from roads and uh, connectivity, um, Narega and I mean, uh, National Rural Employment uh, Scheme. And we are getting funds and we are doing it. And whatever they could not do in the last 34 years, um, we increased the funds for gram panchayats. And these, I was looking at this, but I didn't ask anyone to join my Janasena. Because for me, I'm a bit cautious. The reason is I never expand party years. Uh, I don't like to join people. The reason is I want very people of good commitment. People something, you believe in it. You come into my party. People who just want to leave the party, I said, please go, that's fine, I'm, I'm fine. Right. Here I am with a certain uh, resolve, certain commitment. You believe in this, you come into it, otherwise I am fine. So, when people, and these are the leaders who were uh, reasonably, uh, and they are unlike uh, YCP leaders, though they were in YCP, and we have a common all friends between us, and they were quite dignified in, in those times. So, when later they approached me, of post uh, Mindin, ever since uh, they, even they wanted to come before the election also. Hmm. And I said, um, we are in alliance and I don't like to, um, well, I, cannot pro I cannot promise something which I cannot deliver. And they went ahead. And now, uh, it is not because of failure, because they connect with me, they had. I, they feel we need a little decency in politics. We cannot handle this kind of uh, political party we are in and we want to come out. Could you give us space? I said, right now I cannot. So I think the time has come for them and they, they extended, uh, they asked my, uh, to, to my opinion that they would like to come, then I said I welcome them. So last question, obviously the next logical step for the party, right? Party workers, leaders, they would obviously want to see their leader take the, take the next step. Is that even a thought right now? I mean, 
is being on the CM seat one of the aspects that you are seeing in the foreseeable future? See, for me, okay, positions are, I never wanted to be a deputy CM, I never wanted to be an actor, never wanted to be a political leader, I never, all the thing is I wanted good for my nation, good for my society. Maybe that all made me boil down, that made me, it, everything conspired to be, uh, to let me be here. Okay, I never asked for a position. Yes. If position, you imagine if today is, for example, yesterday what I had spoken, imagine that this position of deputy CM is not there, still I would have been the same. Uh, so for me, if I become something in the process, but I want it to happen in a very organically, it is not something uh, I want to be chief minister because I know I need, we need experience and expertise of uh, Sri Chandrabal Nayan because his experience counts a lot. Yes. His uh, administrative ability needs. So here there is no confrontation, there is no backstabbing. No, no, I am very clear personally. I want the best things happen to my people. Best thing happened to our nation, uh, and that's it. In course of time, we don't know. If it happens, well and good. If it doesn't happen, still I'm well and good. Thank you so much for speaking to us, sir, and we wish you all the luck with all your endeavors going forward. Thank you, sir. And we look forward to interviewing you once again sometime. Thank you, Thank you so much.